I'm really excited about our first years. I think that um, I think the recruiters absolutely got it right. Uh, Paddy, uh, it was always going to be a, a learning year for Paddy. He's a, he's a, a, and, and history shows that tall forwards take a while, tall defenders, rucks. Um, the guys that are more um, physically ready are the midfielders because of um, you know they've grown into their bodies, their balance, their their, their physicality is already strong. Often taller players play through their, their physical advantage, and that is their height, and, and, and yet they're up against guys that are much more experienced and able to use their body, etc. So there were times when, um, when, when Paddy struggled. Certainly his first couple of games, he wasn't quite ready, but the team needed him too, and Paddy's one of those kids that will just do whatever the footy club wants. He's an outstanding person, going to be a great player for a long time. But he was really positive in the next period that, that he came back in on the back of some strong VFL form. Uh, his standout game was the game against the Demons, you know, against Dunn, a, a guy that had been in pretty good form. He took nine, nine strong marks, um, and, and really looked like he's, he, he you know, the, the, the player that, that we think he's going to become. And, and that's going to take a while. We need to be somewhat patient with Paddy. Paddy's not allowed to be patient with Paddy. Paddy's going to have to work. Uh, as if he wants to be a great player tomorrow and, and that'll cause a little bit of angst, that's fine. We need to manage that situation, but he's, you know, he's going to be really exciting. Huey came in and um, on the back of a really long stint in the VFL with strong form, probably the ideal template in many ways, and, and looked like he was ready to go at the level. So uh, it was great to have some experience around him with Fisher, Dempster, Geary, etc., to be able to coach him through that, but he was, um, he was really strong. Uh, Mackenzie was... Um, Showed us some real glimpses, played some really good footy, took some strong game-saving marks uh, for us, one that I recall against Brisbane late. Unfortunately, copped a couple of heavy knocks. He's only slight, he's incredibly courageous, so that's, uh, that's not a great combination if you're really tough and you don't quite have the body mass to back it up. But he's a good kid, he's a very, very good runner, great speed-endurance combination. You know, when you consider where rotations are going to, that's pretty exciting. Um, Still needs to work on, you know, some some facets of his play, but certainly showed enough to suggest he's going to be a beauty. Um, Loney, Loney was really pleasing. Um, puts on enormous pressure, uh, makes really good decisions. Didn't make the most of his opportunities in front of goal. That was an area we were we were the worst in the competition with our conversion, and and so massive up upside there for us and. And, and Jack, if you looked at his under own stuff, didn't miss. Well, you know, he missed a couple. He just rushed a little bit, but. He's, um, he's, a, he's a fantastic young man, a uh, real spirit to the group with his personality. He's very, he's very Stephen Milne-like from that point of view. Um, Sinclair, a uh, bit of a surprise packet really, came off the rookie list, played the most games of anybody. Um, yeah, he's got some really good speed, endurance combination athletically, but just very, very good decision maker, really, really composed, knows when to get forward, knows when to support. Uh, knows when to go quick, knows when to, you know, um, uh, I liken it a little bit from a tennis analogy, a bit of the John McEnroe's, know when to play a softball, know when to hit a hard ball, uh, kicks it through the goals, which is always a bonus when he has opportunities. Um, yeah, no, he's, um, he's quite exciting, obviously, uh, off the rookie list. Um, Paney also, uh, as, a, um, as a first, he didn't play, um, and a rookie player, didn't play senior footy, but... but Certainly did enough to for us to warrant a, a further contract. He's um, for the fans that haven't seen him, for those that haven't been to the VFL. He's going to be a, um, a hard running key position player. He'll play at this stage a combination of forward and back, and we'll need to settle that down. But he's um, he's a very very good mark. He's a, he's a great young man. He's a he's a very good athlete. So he, he's a he's a real chance to become a good player for us. And the other one, of course, was Tim Embry. Whilst not you know, one, he only played one game at Sydney, so um, not not as young as the other guys, but um, quite an impressive uh, debut for us um, when you consider the lack of senior footy he'd played because of opportunity at Sydney. He did enough in the games with us to suggest in, you know, next year and the years beyond, he's going to grow into, uh, you know, a strong, aggressive mid-size forward and potentially look to, we, we'll want him to push up into the midfield. So a uh, good year from Tim.